In this video, we'll describe the theory behind the descriptive assessment of the coffee value assessment. The purpose of the descriptive assessment is to record information about a coffee's sensory attributes using basic olfactory references. This assessment includes assessment of a coffee's fragrance, aroma, flavor, aftertaste, acidity, sweetness, and mouthfeel. The descriptive assessment is based on the concept of descriptive sensory attributes, which uses a specific terminology to describe a coffee's flavors. In the coffee industry, these descriptive attributes are known as flavor notes and are used to describe a coffee's qualities throughout the coffee value chain, such as on a coffee's label, offering sheets, etc. These flavor attributes are well known to affect a coffee's value in the marketplace and are therefore of great importance when assessing a coffee's total quality. The descriptive sensory approach is to deconstruct flavor into its individual components. Much like white light is deconstructed into a single color constituents when it goes through a prism. In sensory science, those individual flavors correspond to descriptors. Typically, a descriptive panel looks like this. Highly trained individuals working with references to precisely analyze a food's flavors. When working with a specific food, a descriptive panel will develop a lexicon or a defined list of important flavors which occur frequently in a food or beverage. We have an official lexicon for coffee developed by a sensory panel at Kansas State University. After over a year of work and hundreds of samples, they came up with a master list of descriptors for the coffees they tasted. This is an amazing piece of work, and it will be the basis for lots of flavor investigation in the future. The WCR lexicon. This includes 110 flavor, aroma, and texture attributes in coffee. It literally sets a common vocabulary for us in the coffee trade. The lexicon descriptors were later integrated into a flavor wheel following joint work by WCR, SCA, and the University of California at Davis. Here is the final product, the SCA WCR Coffee Tasters Flavor Wheel. The WCR lexicon also includes sensory references for all descriptors. The references are also anchors along an intensity scale for each flavor attribute. Therefore, a sensory reference helps the panelists align on both the qualitative character and the intensity of a particular flavor. So, using the process of descriptive analysis, that is, identification of specific flavors in coffee and a lexicon, we could use cuppers to perform a descriptive assessment on a coffee, defined as a quantitative test that seeks to profile a product on its perceived sensory attributes. Here's a screenshot of one section of the descriptive assessment. Intensity ratings follow a 1 to 15 scale, and tasters may choose a number of sensory attributes by checking them on the check all that apply list. Some key things to know about a descriptive assessment. First, it is seen as an objective test without any basis in liking or quality. As an example, a coffee might be described as fruity without any judgment of or whether fruitiness is a good or a bad thing in coffee. Second, it identifies these flavors, aka sensory attributes, using a standardized, familiar vocabulary. It uses references to calibrate tasters and create a shared understanding. Finally, an individual taster's performance can be assessed against other trained panelists. The descriptive assessment, therefore, uses a lexicon based on the WCR lexicon and its associated flavor wheel. It puts those descriptors into a check all that apply CATA system, which is an intensity rating. We constructed it in this way because we believe that cuppers can act as a descriptive panel and data can be used for both research and trade purposes. If necessary, CVA data can be validated with a dedicated, formal, quantitative descriptive analysis panel.